Hey guys, it's Kathy from kathysuppamackie.com. I am an energy wellness coach who is here to help you to learn how to manage energy better so that you can go from surviving to thriving. So you've probably noticed I'm doing things just a little differently. I have completely changed kind of what I'm doing. Um, we've got a new logo, we've got a new intro, we've got all of that kind of thing. Um, I am, I, I told you I'm going to be sharing a whole lot more information and does that mean I'm not going to be doing Weigh In Wednesdays? No, it doesn't mean that at all. You see, I have been an energy sensitive person all my life. What does it mean to be energy sensitive? Well, if you consider yourself to be an empath or a highly sensitive person, if you're a creative person, um, if you consider yourself a light worker, any of these labels um, are basically people who tend to be sensitive to the energy around them. That means that our nervous system functions differently than 80 to 85 percent of the people on the planet and so we just respond differently i am going to talk a lot more about what it means to be energy sensitive um, in videos coming up so please stay tuned and mindset plays a huge part and your beliefs and your obviously emotions are all very big parts of that i am going to continue doing my way in wednesdays because one thing that so many energy sensitive people struggle with is weight gain and there are a couple of reasons for that some people will do it as a means for protection because we are sensitive to emotional energy and we are sensitive to energy in the environment we are sensitive to energy in the foods we eat we're we're sensitive to all kinds of energy once again i'm going to be delving a whole lot more into that in future videos um, so it's important for me to make sure that I am walking the walk. Um, you know, well, a second reason is as energy sensitives, the world is not really created for us, but for the majority of the people who are not energy sensitive. And so we have this tendency to try to fight to kind of fit in um, with the world that really isn't designed for our our nervous systems and um, as a result oftentimes we try to stuff down who we are or we soothe with food um, and so it's real easy for people to become overweight um, addiction in general is really really common in the en energy sensitive group so I want to show people that it is it is possible to live a better life, to, to be able to thrive, to be able to lose the weight, to not have to hold on to it, and to share tips and tricks with how you can go ahead and let that go and be healthy as you're maneuvering through this crazy energy-filled world. So that being said, it's a weigh-in Wednesday. And that means that I did get on the scale. I'm only going to be taking my measurements once monthly. You will see um, any changes in measurement at the beginning, the very first Wednesday of each month. So you'll see those today and um, and all of that. So I'm not gonna keep you in suspense. Let's see, let's see where the scale went. Not a lot of movement today. That's okay. It did go down. Um, it's less than half a pound. You know, once again, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. I did really well with eating this week, and I actually did more movement than I have been doing, which is great. Um, I think I did like 14 or 15,000 steps just yesterday alone. So, um, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm up, I'm moving, I'm eating really, really well, um, you know, so I, I, there's no complaints about any of that. I just know that some weeks I may not move as much. That's cool. You know, as long as I'm doing the, the things that are nurturing my body and, and one big thing, and I see so many people when they are making the journey to being healthier, they put a lot of pressure on themselves and they beat themselves up if they have a week where maybe there's a gain or they don't lose as much as they anticipate they're going to lose. And 
you know, I, I'm here to say that stop beating yourself up, y'all, if, if that happens. You know, would I love for there to be a pound to two pounds weight loss every single week? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. But I've been at this a while, and I know that there are going to be some weeks that my body's having to adjust for whatever reason, even if I'm eating the same. And maybe I'm at a point now where I need to change what I'm eating just a little bit more or you know, or whatever it is. So as long as we see that downward trend, I'm not gonna beat myself up. You know, I, I wanna be very gentle with myself and, and, and all of that. So I'm very pleased. I'm doing a lot of self-care work right now. Um, for energy sensitives, that is so important. It is not an option, it is mandatory. And taking that time to really nurture myself is an important part of my healthcare routine. So, um, all right, guys, I'm not gonna keep you here. Please stay tuned. I've, I've got some videos that I've been shooting. I wanted to get this one down first and kind of tell you and unveil some of the new things that I'm doing with, um, with who I am as an energy wellness coach and all of that. So please stay tuned. We've got exciting things that are happening and I just can't wait to share more with you guys. So have a great week. I will see you back here soon. Bye, guys.